I find the best way is to put your hand on it like this. Hey guys, Brad here. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at something that I think every carpenter should have. Every painter, every remodeler, pretty much anybody in the trades should have this tool. And I'm gonna to get to that in a second. But first, don't forget to sub subscribe, hit that notify bell. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below and I'll get to you. So without further ado, I call this the red bar. Now that's just what, you know, we call it, but it's a pry bar. It's a paint scraper, a nail puller. It's a bunch of things. This particular one is made by Richard, but there are a bunch of other brands out there and we'll leave some links down below. But uh, yeah, essentially you gotta have this if you're in any kind of construction because it is so handy to have. And I keep them in multiple tool bags, toolboxes, my truck. They're just always kind of handy to have. So I'll kind of talk about the different functions here. First, at the front, we've got, this one's a little dull, but there's a uh, blade slash scraper slash pry bar on the front. And it's super handy to have. Um, if you're, you know, into painting and you need to scrape some old paint off, it measures about an inch and a half across the front. And overall length is about nine and a half inches. Now, I've used this for like cleaning up window sills. Um, it's really handy if you're framing and you've got some ice on, on your lumber, you can just hit it with this. Um, it's just super handy to have. The other end here is a scraper. Now this one's a little bit dull, but it's a pretty decent scraper. So with this, you would do a pulling action. And I find the best way is to put your hand on it like this and pull. And you can get some really, really good scraping action on it. Now the third function is a nail puller right here. And the best way to use this is you have your nail in there, you hook into it and you can just rock it up and it'll pull right out. This isn't great for framing nails for like really big, you know, hard nails. If you're, let's say you're doing some demo and you've got some big spikes, this isn't the greatest puller for, for framing nails. This is more for little stuff, finishing nails, um, Smooth Edge is a great one if you're a carpet installer and you're removing a bunch of carpet or the Smooth Edge. This is a great tool for that because you can get in there, you can pry, you can pull nails if there's any left. A lot of the times when I'm prying with this, I will smack it into whatever I'm using. Let's say uh, Smooth Edge or even um, window casing I use this a lot on window casing as a, instead of prying this way you pry that way and it works really really well so if you loosen up whatever your your material with this end and then you can get this end in you can get a really good pry so you know this is something I always use when I'm installing doors um, when I'm installing my door jam, I will use this to rock in between the door jam and the framing just to level out my jam. So I'm always starting with my hinge side and uh, you know nail that off and then I use this to just tweak it a little bit. And because it's small, it's thin, it's not too heavy, um, it's very easy to control what you are prying and what you're tweaking when you're adjusting a, a door jam. If you were to use a larger bar, um, it works, but I find the heavier the bar, the, the little bit less control you have. So you're, you're, you know, you end up just pulling it a little bit too much. This is just seems to be just right for me. And I've used these, you know, since day one, this is probably the first tool I bought along with my hammer and pouch and stuff when I first got into carpentry. This was the first thing uh, 
I bought on day one when I was at the store. So for all you newbies out there, get yourself the red bar slash pry bar. You can buy them on Amazon. You can buy them at uh, paint stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, Rona, all those places. Everybody has them. And there's multiple different versions. There's some smaller ones out there, which I find are, you know, not the most useful. I, I never really used the small ones. And I didn't like them. But uh, this seems to be my go-to for, for prying bars um, on the small scale. We'll do a video in the future here with just a bunch of bars, bars I, I really like, things that, uh, that I kind of just keep in my, my toolbox that I use all the time. So that's a video that's coming. But um, yeah, until then, guys, let me know what you think about the red bar. And uh, if you use one, do you like it? Do you hate it? Give me your thoughts. Till next time, uh, yeah, subscribe, hit that notify bell, thumbs up if you wouldn't mind, and uh, keep on crushing it. We'll catch you later.